Hello folks and welcome to the Light Source Engraving YouTube channel. Today I have a special video for you. This is a video in a new series that is sponsored by Hotian Laser. So if you don't know who they are, there's a link in the description. Go check them out. They are providing this content for you and it is being produced by Light Source Engraving. So welcome aboard and today I have a quick video for you and we are going to go through the basic steps involved in finding the true focus which is the height from the bottom of your lens to the top of your substrate you, and we're going to go through the basic steps and I'm going to show you a few tools that might be useful and go through some tips and tricks and then by the time you've watched this video you'll know how to find the true focus for your UV laser and your fiber laser like subscribe hit the bell because there's going to be more quick how-to videos coming out brought to you by hotian laser now the first thing i want to comment on are two files linked in the description number one will be a light burn file that is loaded for the uv laser number two will be a light burn file loaded for the fiber laser they have basic settings already incorporated into the file there's a little test piece that you can run and that's what you can use to find the focus for your laser also one call out each file does have the notes section completely filled in with instructions and there will also be a link back to this video so if you need to watch it again and you just need some entertainment yeah you can come back and watch it the link will be right there for you all right so that's enough of that let me just show you the light burn file real quick we'll go through one of those files and then run through what we need and how to proceed all right so here we have the fiber galvo focal test file loaded and what i have is just a basic setting with a speed of 1500 power of 80 frequency 60 q pulse of 200 should work for most lasers with a 0 0.05 line interval and all this is going to do is keep running this square i have it set for 10 times you can stop it once you have found your focal length. Now, if we go to file and go to show notes, you'll be able to see the notes that are included in this file. So there are the instructions for you. So that's all you need to do is follow those instructions. I do have this set to show on file open. That way, as soon as you open the file, the notes pop up. And with that, let's just get right in to the laser and the tools that I'm going to use to help find your true focal distance. The first thing you're going to need, tape measure. Remember, when measuring, measure from the top of your substrate. So these files are designed for steel. That's what the basic settings are for, or to use a spare piece of steel and then put this on top of the steel and then measure to the bottom of the lens. So, ruler, tape measure, well, probably a long ruler, depending on what lens you have. The second thing that might be helpful could be a sound meter. These sound meters run about $20 on Amazon. We'll have a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. Not necessary, but can be helpful, easy to read. If you have a smartphone, well, then we can go to the smartphone app. Okay, I have an app called Smart Tools. I purchased it a long time ago. I'm talking many, many years ago, but it does have a sound meter built in. There are free ones that are ad supported in the Google Play Store. I'm not familiar with what the Apple Store offers, but check that out and see if they have a free sound meter app. But basically, you're going to get the same information just from your cell phone. So just use the sound meter app. So just pick one, try it out and see if it works for you. And like I said, they should be free with ads. If you put up with the ads and then you won't have to pay for the app. We're not going to use it very often anyway. So it's up to you. First position your gavel head at the approximate focal distance from the substrate. This is the starting point for finding your optimal focus. In my case, the numbers wrote on the side of the gobble head had faded away so i wanted to get a true distance so that i could make a focal stick and not have to worry about those numbers on the side of the galvo 
Now you want to frame your work area and start the job and then observe the sound and light intensity while adjusting the focus. While the job is running, slowly move the gallow head up and down. I'd normally hit the up button, pause, wait for the sound meter to settle, look at the number. Or hit the down button, pause, wait for the sound meter to settle, and look at the number. So I'm listening for the loudest sound, looking at the sound meter for the highest number. And once I start to narrow down that range, I know I'm getting close. What we're looking for is the number that's in the center of that range. So we know our focal range. Now we just need to position the galva head right in the center, and then we can take our measurement to obtain our focal length. Now having a motorized Z has some problems when using the sound meter, because often you'll find that the mere action of pressing the buttons and activating the stepper motor is louder than the engraving. That's why I will press the button and then pause, let the sound meter settle, and then look at the reading. So what I'm looking for are the highest values as I'm raising and lowering the galvo head. And once I get to the top of the focal range where the sound is approximately the same as the bottom of the focal range, then I'll just kind of make note of what that distance is and then position the galvo right in between. In this clip, I want you to pay attention to the brightness of the laser hitting the steel. Now I used a camera to look at the laser light to see if I could pick out the brightness and find the brightest spot and then pause the galvo. I highly recommend a camera. It's much more safe than looking at the laser beam directly, even if you are wearing safety glasses. And in this clip, I just want you to see how the phone sound meter works. And I'm just going to stop talking and let you listen to the sound of the laser versus the sound meter. For UV laser, it can be difficult to pick up the slight differences. And you also want to make sure you have the microphone of your phone pointed at the laser beam. That way you get the best possible sound pickup of that beam hitting the steel. Alright, in this last clip, I'm showing you that when you start off very high with a fiber laser, there's no sparks, there's no sound. But then once I brought the gobble head closer to the material, then we finally get that loud fiber laser sound that we're used to. And again, I just continue to raise the gobble head up and down, one button push at a time until I find the approximate range where the sound is consistent and then try to center the galvo right in the middle of that range. And again, I highly recommend performing this technique through a camera. So look at the camera output to see when the light is at its brightest point. Your eyes will thank you for it later. All right, congratulations, you are done. At this point, measure the distance from the top of your material to the bottom of your lens and write it down. You can even use a Sharpie and write it on the side of the machine case so you do not lose it. And that concludes finding your optimal focal length. Now you are ready to make your focal stick and get to some laser engraving. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. And please like, subscribe, and share. And be sure to check out Hotian Laser. They are providing these videos for you, and we greatly appreciate them. So thank you very much, everyone. And most importantly, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.